Hello everybody, in this Rhino 7 video, I would like to demonstrate some of the essential sub D modeling commands and processes via the creation of a simple shark like shape. Okay, let's start. Let's start by creating the main form through using the sub D plane. And I'm going to set the X count and Y count to both 1, okay? Okay, I think I will toggle into the flat mode by pressing the tab key as I'm more comfortable in this uh, mode. And we can toggle between uh, the flat and the smooth mode for accurate assessment of the shape, okay? At a later stage. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is to break this into segments and we can do so by using the insert point, okay? In this demo, accuracy is not a main concern over here, so um, I will not um, go into uh, spending time on making sure that uh, the the shapes are you no know, having uh, certain dimensions okay so let's create a few more segments okay maybe something like that And then uh, let's press tab and let's turn on the control points. You can do so by clicking this icon or press the F10 key to turn on the control points. Okay. So what I'm going to do is um, let's extend this. I reckon that uh, maybe I need to create another segment over here. So um, let's turn on the selection filter and activate the sub object. Okay. What I'm going to do is to extrude another segment over here, okay? Using the extrude dot over here, and then um, I'm going to create the the tail tail fin, okay? And to do that, <laughs> I need to break this part into two half, okay? And we can do so by using the insert point, okay? Uh, let's turn on the object snap. <laughs> I want to ensure that the mid is uh, activated, okay? Okay, and then I'm going to delete this face and create a new face that is uh, three-sided, okay? And we can do so by using this single sub-D face or the 3D face command. And because I want the, the subsequent face to be uh, merged with the main body I need to select what it needs to append to so I click append append to this main body okay Enter. okay let's repeat the process again let's delete this and then append to this okay we got something like that a bit of adjustments okay sub the object Okay, I'm going to extrude this part here. So align to object. Okay. Extrude. Okay. Ok, 
okay do the same for the bottom part Now let's uh, extrude this. Press tab to go into the smooth mode. Yeah, you can see that we have one half of the uh, shark. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I want to do a parametric mirroring of this uh, half. Okay, to do that, make sure that you are not in the subject mode. Okay. Click the record history and then select the main body and we can execute the, the mirror command okay let's see whether the record history is working or not Yep, it's working. You can see the other side is uh, updating itself. Okay, that's good. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is uh, continue to shape the, the body. Okay. Let's turn on the points. Okay, something like that. Okay, maybe something like that okay and okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a fin over here and to do that um, let's press the, the tab first okay um, I'm going to cut a new segment okay and I reckon I actually uh, need to have another segment over here first, okay? Let's try the insert edge, okay? And set the type to ring mode to full, okay? Okay, you can see that it's selecting this whole ring over here and then uh, press enter. So I want to add like one over somewhere around here, okay? Okay, let's start to create the, the fin over here and we can do so by using the insert uh, point, okay? okay. 
okay, let's go into sub object. I'm going to extrude this. And bring it back. And maybe scale it a little bit. Okay, so we got this pin here. Okay. And I'm going to create the dorsal fin. I reckon that um, the main body is almost done. So uh, what I'm going to do um, before I create the dorsal fin is to append or merge these two together. And we can do so by using this command, the append to sub D. Select the two halves and now they are um, merged. Okay, be very careful when you're doing this because uh, this will uh, remove the, the history. And if you were to make any modification on, on one half, the other half will not be reflected. Okay, so gotta be careful with that. Okay, I think maybe before I uh, append, I will want to create another segment over here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, let's undo this append. Okay, because I want to break another segment over here and. It needs to be reflected on the other side okay so what I did is uh, I have uh, un undo the, the the append okay so uh, let's uh, create a segment over here <coughs> using the insert point okay something like that okay and then uh, let's um, do the append again Okay, so now the history is broken and the next thing I need to do is to <coughs> select this and uh, delete it. This edge here, delete and let's uh, extrude a fin from here. Line to C plane. Okay, something like that. Okay, just for demonstration purpose, okay, let's say if you need to adjust a certain side segment um, in a natural way, what you can do is you can use this uh, slide mesh. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, Let's like this whole uh, ring here. So I'm going to double click to select this whole ring and then click this uh, slide mesh. You can see that you are able to do some fine adjustments by using this. Okay. Yep. Okay, if you need to tighten certain region. Uh, for example, let's say I want to tighten this this area over here with a more uh, dramatic change of the profile over here. <coughs> we can do uh, insert edge with the mode set to uh, ring and full. Okay type to ring and mode to full okay so you can click on this enter and you can see that yep is uh doing a full loop uh, insertion okay so you can adjust this to tighten this uh, profile over here okay
Okay, I think I'm almost done with the shape. Okay, there are some fine adjustments that need to be done. But I don't think I want to bore you with uh, this kind of work. Okay. So let's uh, show a preview using the environmental map. Okay, so yeah, we got the main uh, form of the shark uh, being done. Okay, and as I mentioned, I'm not going to bore you with the fine uh, adjustments of the control points. Okay, with that, I come to the end of this uh, demonstration. Hope that's been useful to you. See you around. Bye.